Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso here on SABC3. Now, have you ever wondered what it would be like to have your own personal makeup artist with you 24-7? Well, that's exactly what Tenji got to experience when she met Lancome makeup artist Andrew James. Let's get some tips. That everyday look for work can sometimes be a lot more effort than it should be, but with some professional advice and the right products in your handbag, that flawless, effortless beauty can be yours within minutes. Today, I'm in the expert hands of Lancome makeup artist, Andrew James, and he's going to share some of his own tips and tricks as he applies my makeup for the day. Let's see how it's done. Andrew, there are a multitude of skin types out there, but as a golden rule, how should one begin their beauty regime? Right, your beauty regime should always start with getting a flawless canvas. And the way we're going to do that is a little skin prep. So the first product I'm going to apply on you is our Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. So one drop on the hands, and you're lightly going to press it onto the face that's totally absorbed, avoiding the eye area. Our next step is correcting skin texture. Now, this daily moisturizing fluid called Vision SCX helps to correct skin texture, reduce pores, and work on wrinkles as well. Right, so our final step in skin prep is going to be the eye area. Now the product I'm going to use on you is called Genifique Light Pearl. It has a surgical steel pearl which is used to massage around the eye area. It's going to brighten the eye area, it's going to reduce puffiness, and it's going to keep those lines away. Once I've applied the product on both eyes, I'm then going to use my fingertips to massage it in around the eye area. Find your ideal foundation by testing two closest shades to your skin, comparing either side of your chin. The shade that completely blends in with your skin is the correct choice. I only like to apply foundation just where it's needed. So I'm doing it around the nose area, around the mouth and chin, some on the cheeks, and then concentrating some on the forehead. A great tip I want to add here is when you apply foundation, apply it about two centimeters away from the hairline and then blend it into the hairline, keeping your foundation looking flawless and natural. Wow, Andrew, that looks amazing and it feels so light. But what if I want to take my look from daytime to nighttime and touch up my foundation without it caking? Right, well, the foundation I've used on your face will actually last all day. It's also transfer free, doesn't need any powder to set it, but if you would like to make it last longer, I suggest using a primer, we do one called La Base Pro, to make your foundation last longer as well as keeping your face matte during the day. Next, we're going to enhance those beautiful eyes of yours, and the way I'm going to do that is just use two colors of eyeshadow, a black coal pencil, and then finish it off with mascara. For flawless eyeshadow coverage, first crush the powder on your hand. This will distribute the pigment evenly through the brush bristles for a smooth look when applied. Right, now the reason why I'm smudging the liner is to get a very soft, smoky line around the eyes. So now that it's time for mascara, what is the best technique to get those amazing lashes? In order to get lashes defined at the ends and volumized in the base, I like to take the mascara from the top of the lashes Push down, defining the ends of the lashes, and then applying from the bottom close to the roots because you always want lashes to face upwards and outwards. Enhance the cheekbones by blending upwards from the apple of the cheek towards the temples, adding just a light flush of colour. Right, now to complete the look, I've chosen this beautiful deep burgundy brown colour. With this particular long-lasting lipstick doesn't just last long, but it'll keep your lips moisturised for up to six hours. But to make it last even longer, you can apply a lip pencil to the entire lip area, apply your first layer of lipstick, blot with a tissue, and then reapply again. And you'll find that your lipstick will last you pretty much until you start eating or drinking something. Thank you. Wow, Andrew, that looks absolutely stunning. Great, you're welcome. Who knew this everyday officer could be both glamorous and effortless?